Welcome everyone to another video tour. This is Jack Ramos in Vegas. Today, I'm gonna to show you Casa Bella. Casa Bella is a new community by KB Homes. We're looking at the 2400 square feet model, 2469, and then the 1768 right here. Now, here's the thing about this community. We're on the east side of Las Vegas. Starting uh, prices on these homes are $285,000 or more. Uh, we have a beautiful, um, community of about 75 homeless over here we have our gated community which that's where they're gonna sell the gates they, they just started this community right uh, HOA fees are $50 so we're gonna tour these two homes right here right in front of us then after at the end of the video I'm gonna show you the neighborhood out here so stay with me until the end I'm gonna do a drive-through of the neighborhood so you see what it is like and you'll see if whether or not it is worth it to buy in this community for about $80,000 less than any other community out there in Las Vegas at least the cheapest one out there now walking into this house we have a 2469 square feet model this model starts at 330 because it is the biggest one we have uh, three um, sorry two-story home with um, two-car garage as we walk in we have our door right here to right to left also we have um, three four four bedrooms sorry and a den or you can make that den into a fifth bedroom as well or and then you have uh, two and a half bathrooms, and which could become four bathrooms as well. And I'll explain later on in a second. As we uh, walk in right here, we have our bedroom downstairs. And let me give you a quick look right here of this open floor plan. And then I'll explain everything into detail. Now, uh, we've got our coat closet right here. I showed it earlier. Now, one thing is that coat closet usually goes over here if you have a den. If you have a full bedroom, since this, be, uh, when you put a full bedroom, this powder room becomes a full bathroom, as you see it right now. And then uh, this door right here that they had uh, over here, a coat closet, goes over here to the side. Now, you get your full bathroom over here. Piedrafina, of course, is included in the bathrooms. Overmounted sinks, not undermounted, like you see it right here. That's an upgrade. And then you got your fiberglass tub and shower combo right here and your toilet then walking in here we have a nine by ten bedroom so perfect for guests or for mother-in-law or grandma who wants to sleep with you in your house and then right here you got your you know rack right here which is what they add if you do a bedroom downstairs otherwise this would just be a um storage room now walking in here you do have this uh rail right here that is included up there, you can also add rails, but that would be an upgrade. Now, walking in here, we do have uh, something special here in this community that I haven't seen in other communities before, but KB, and that is, instead of putting the sliding door back there to the backyard, they put it on the side of the yard. And the reason why they do that is because we have these um, side yards in this community. So instead of having a backyard, you'll have a side yard, which has its pros and its cons. Uh, pros is you probably have a little bit more privacy due to the fact that they don't put any windows up here. Although that you do have some up there, but it's not a big deal. Uh, the, the downside is that you're not going to get a big backyard in this community if you're expecting one. Uh, you just get a side yard like this one. Then you have about eight feet back here as well. Uh, enough space to put in a nice spa, which would be great. You know, a little bit, you know, private from everything else, which is great. Uh, and you also get your side yard right here, which is perfect. Now, over here, we do have uh, this sliding door is an eight foot sliding door, which is an upgrade. And it comes with that only if you do the nine foot ceilings, which is what you see here. So we have quite a few upgrades in this model. I'm guessing the one next door is gonna be the one that is not upgraded. So you can see what's included in the base price. As far as this, we do have upgraded tile. It comes with three choices of tile that you can choose from in the wet areas, so kitchen, entryway, bathrooms, and laundry room. And then over here, you will get carpets, okay? You can upgrade to a different kind of carpet or put tile everywhere. You can do whatever you want. As far as this open floor plan, I really like it. Uh, 2469 square feet, so really good floor plan. This island right here is in a, is a really good size, but you can also make it wider if you wanted to. That's like a thousand dollar upgrade. Over here, this, cor this course is an upgrade. You would get uh, three choices of granite that you can choose from. Then you get under mounted sinks like you see them right there. Uh, stainless steel appliances are included in this community. And they also have um, 
different kind of cabinets. These are upgraded cabinets. I'm thinking they're going to be in the next model, uh, the ones that are included. And um, and yeah, this course right here is probably a thousand dollar upgrade to get this Chintrafina course in the kitchen, which is great. Okay, as far as these cabinets, you can add a few more cabinets up here. It makes it look nice and more complete. You know, rather than having the refrigerator there by itself. And then good size pantry. Yeah, not bad. Now, we said starting price on this home is 330. You know, that's, in this market, it's very difficult to have. As a matter of fact, they have a lot of people on their waiting list. I'm gonna give you also a projection of what you're looking at if you were to move into this community. By the way, if you haven't done so already, hit that like button uh, for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you like content like this. Over here, we have our loft to the right. We have also our laundry room right there, linen closet, master. And then down there, we have another three bedrooms. So let's start from the bedrooms over there. And let's go in order and go down this house. We have a 10 by 12 over here. Nice walk-in closet. Nothing crazy about this one. Then we do have right next to it a 10 by 11, probably 10 by 12 still. Still a really good size. I mean, this is a queen size bed. Look at that space. Plenty of room out here. And then it does not have a sliding door closet, but that will suffice. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if you know about Casabella and what you think about this community. I'm also gonna go and do a drive-through of the neighborhood for you guys, so stay until the end for that. Prices are definitely amazing. $285,000 or more. Now, 285 is for the 1455 square feet model, which is a three bedroom, two story home. Uh, if you get the 1768, which is the one next door, it's 295. Huge walk in closet in this one. This one is the biggest of the small rooms, right? Uh, everything got in the master, right? But this room, however, you can upgrade it to a non suite bedroom. Now, the way it works is they would add a closet. The closet would go right there, right? It's gonna be a sliding door closet. And then over on this side, this will be the bathroom. So this closet will be turned into a walk-in shower right there, toilet, and one sink right across. So something to consider, because when you turn it into a five bedroom home, uh, five bedroom and a four bathroom home, that's pretty interesting. And uh, also another thing is that Upgrade is about $6,000, which is pretty inexpensive for adding a full bathroom. Other than that, you would have this bathroom for sure. Uh, it comes with one sink, you can upgrade to two. Then you get the fiberglass tub and shower combo. And then, uh, yeah, the toilet right there, not bad. Let's go check out the master really quick and then we'll go over to the other model. And then we'll do the drive-through of the community. All in one video, guys, for you. Hit that like button. Uh, washer, dryer is where they go. There's your uh, smart panel for your cables, for internet, high speed internet, and all that good stuff. Good size um, linen closet right here. And walking into your master, we have a really good size master. You can definitely fit another king size bed on this side or how big it is. So, 330,000 for a new construction home. That's really difficult to find uh, here in Las Vegas. Now walking in here, you have a full, huge master closet. This could be another bedroom. It's perfect. Over here, you have a linen closet area. And the reason why they put the linen closet over here is because they upgraded this bathroom to a full walk-in shower here. You can also do a shower with a tub combo, it will be just this area. And then this one right here would be actually, yeah, this one right here would be the, um, it, it just would be turned around, but you, what you would have is right here, your um, linen closet, and then right next to it, you would have your walk-in shower, okay? And then as you can see right here, dual sinks, it will come with the over mountains, like I um, mentioned earlier downstairs, and here is your water closet, okay? Now, let's go check out the other model. Um, if you guys need help with your real estate needs, uh, you're looking for a realtor that could represent you for this community, feel free to reach out to me. As usual, my services to you are free, free, gratis, because 
the realtor pays for it, sorry, for the, the builder pays for the commission. So, um, my services to you are pretty much free. Now, um, one thing is uh, also, if you go in by yourself, you get represented by the sales agent and the sales agent represents the builder. So there's a conflict of interest right there. So technically the sales agent is not representing you. They're just doing the documents for you. And then you're on your own uh, while you're buying a house, which is most likely the most expensive purchase of your life for most people. And uh, you know, you want somebody that knows what they're doing uh, while you're going through this, through this process. Plan 1768 is the next one we're gonna see. Over here we have um, three bedrooms and a loft upstairs. Over here, this would be your two-car garage. Now it's locked. Um, we're gonna go upstairs really quick because uh, there's some people downstairs. I want to get them in the video. Let's see what we have. So walking up, downstairs is very similar to the 2,400 square feet model. Um, nice open floor plan. But now we're gonna see this upstairs. Uh, same thing. It's this is pretty much a copy of the 2400 square feet model. It's just everything is smaller and it only has three bedrooms rather than five with the den downstairs. The downstairs doesn't have a den. You got the nice loft just like the 2400, your master over there, and then your two bedrooms on this side with a bathroom over here, the hall bathroom. So starting to the right, we have our first bedroom. This one is uh, nine by 11. Generous size for a regular bedroom. Sliding door closet, nothing crazy. Over on the second one, it's about the same size. Well, it looks a little bit bigger. It's probably more than, yeah, this is a little bit bigger for sure. This is a nine by 12, 13. Looks like a very long bedroom. And as you can see right here, that's a queen size bed. And then over here, that is your hall bathroom. This is what it comes with. So everything you see here is included. The cherry uh, brown cabinets. There's also another color you can choose from, still brown. Uh, Overmounted sinks and with the Piedrafina right here, which looks pretty neat. And then this is one of the tiles that is included in the base price. And then you have right here your carpet, which is included. One of the options that is included. Tub and shower combo. So they didn't over upgrade this one just to show you what's included, you know. Your loft, beautiful. You got your laundry room over here. Washer and dryer would go right here. And you get a, a rack. And then over here, you have your master bedroom. Pretty nice size. This is a king size bed. You got enough room right there for your nightstands. And then plenty of room down here. And your bathroom with the dual sinks. You have your fiberglass tub and shower combo. This is what I was explaining to you last time, right? You saw that uh, upgraded shower in the other model. You get the linen closet and the shower like this. That's exactly what you would get over there included, or you can upgrade to what they had over there with the culture marble, uh, not, not the culture marble, the course everywhere on the walls of the shower. But this is a nicer one. This is a wider tub, okay? You get a wider shower. And not much to say about this one. Uh, you can also enclose this one if you want to, which I would definitely do so. And then uh, right here is your walk-in closet. Decent size for two people. Might be a little bit small. You might have to double up on the racks. But that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And leave your comments. Let us know what you guys think of this community, of these models. And if you would go ahead and do something about that. But let's go check out the open floor downstairs. So you can see it. Alright. Alright. So here we go. Nice open floor plan in the back over there. We have our half bathroom. This is everything is included right here. Uh, it does come with eight foot ceilings as you see right now. You get this island 
with uh, this this granite right here is actually an upgrade. It's a slight upgrade. It will cost you like five hundred dollars to upgrade to that granite. It comes with a, with three different other styles that you can choose from. Uh, these black appliances actually actually have been discontinued. They finally did. They put the stainless steel on, including the base price, which is great. I'm guessing that was included before, but they just recently changed that in all the KB communities. You got the cherry brown cabinets right here. And then uh, this is the tile actually that is included, one of the options, and they extended it everywhere else over there. That upgrade, you're looking at probably two to three thousand dollars, which is totally worth it in my opinion, rather than having carpet downstairs. Now in this model, they have, uh, interesting, they put the backyard over here, which is different. And I'm gonna go outside and show you. Uh, but only a few lots you will be able to do that, if they have any left. And then down here is your powder room. Now, one thing about this one is it has this backyard, but I don't think you can do this anymore. After talking to the sales agent, he said it's all, um, you know, what's it called? All side yards available. This is a really good sized backyard. You can put a pool back here if you wanted to, but I don't know. And then you have a little bit of a side yard as well on this one because obviously, you know, that's how they lay out these homes. Uh, let's go over and do a drive through of the neighborhood. And one thing that I have to tell you about this community is that they have 200 people, 200 people on the waiting list, ready to get a lot. When they do release a lot, they do release about five lots a month. They plan on finishing this community in about 14 months. So they will, you know, they will be releasing five months a lot, five lots a month, which will give you a What's that? 200 people, you get five lots. Let's say you have a two and a half percent chance every drawing. So two and a half percent chance a month to get a lot. That's crazy, right, in this market. Anyway, let's go and let's go tour uh, the rest of the, uh, the community, I mean, the outside. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. I'll see you later. Yep, thanks. These are the ones that are included, okay? So you get the two uh, granites, the two um, cabinet colors, then these are the- uh, Bathrooms. Yeah, the bathrooms, the course that you get, the Piedrafina, and then the three different style uh, of tile that you can choose from. This is a little bit more brown, darker gray, lighter gray. Thank you, have a good one. Anyway, let's go see this community. I'm just gonna drive around this block right here and then walk out there and gonna show you the outside. Uh, because, uh, I mean, oh, sorry about that. There is a reason why you have lower prices over in this area. And the reason why is because overall, the average income is lower, demographics are different, and uh, that's why you, you pay less for the house. For some people, that makes perfect sense to do so because they don't want to pay uh, that much for a home. For other people, it doesn't make sense. But this would be the community, as you can see. Small yards, you know, small lots, which means a wider yard, uh, wider lots with, uh, you know, enough room on the side for a side yard. But that's pretty much it. And this is the whole community. Now, right next to us, we have Boulder Station right there. And we're gonna go check out, I mean, I remember, I used to live in this area, probably about 10 years ago, when I was still in college. Uh, I was in this area and I was, I, I didn't mind it at all, I liked it. It was, uh, I never had anybody break into my house, I never had any issues at all. And over here we do have a gated community as well, as I showed you. Now, I gotta find my way around. As you can see next to you right here, you'll have homes that are from, you know, back in the 60s or 70s. That's when they built these houses, okay? Uh, bigger lots out here, for sure. And then that is Lamb, is uh, that intersection that we're going to right now. Let me put it on, there we go. That's Lamb right there. And as you can see, these homes, they're all single stories, 
you know, older homes. Some of them are remodeled like this one. Um, not much to say about this one. No HOA because back then they didn't have any HOA. You got these, uh, you know, as you can see all these cables like this and, you know, ACs on the roof. Things like that, you know, nothing crazy. Not bad. All of Vegas is pretty much clean everywhere. So there's not much to say about that because it's all clean. Over to the right is that uh, Boulder Station Casino. We're about to hit Boulder Highway is the next uh, straight down. And then uh, let's see what we have. You see older homes right here, older neighborhood. Not what we're used to seeing in this uh, on this YouTube channel, but you know what? That's the reason why you guys are subscribed to see everything that is available out here in Las Vegas and all your options so that you can make a decision and say, you know what? I like this place. I think it's worth it for the money to go here. All right, so this is Boulder Highway. Uh, should I go south or north of Boulder Highway? I forgot which way I got here. All right, I'm just gonna go south. I'm gonna show you a little bit around. There are some uh, some groceries uh, and all that stuff that you can you can get over here. You got a, a over to the left a Shell gas station over here at 7-Eleven. Doing some constructions over there. And then, yeah, not much to say about it. This um, this area right here look looks like they don't have anything going on in this one it used to be a dry cleaner uh dry cleaning uh place but now it's not anymore kind of looks a little bit you know uh, run down and these lights take forever gosh hit that like button guys since you're there and you're waiting just hit it you know or you know just subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already you know just go down there hit that subscribe and then uh, hit the notification bell that's that way you get notified when i post a video uh that is uh, similar to this one and then here we go making a left on boulder highway from uh, desert inn this is the street desert inn which turns into lamb right there and here we go over to the right we have some uh, businesses you know there's a storage business over here a hotel over to the left, we have some, uh, uh, you know, what is it, mechanic, letter headquarters, uh, car sales, car repair place, auto repair, some more storage over to the right, a U-Haul. It's more of businesses, right? Over to the left, we have some nice uh, condos. I've sold a few condos in this community over here. And, um, Let's see, Shango, okay, this is new. I don't remember this at all. And we got some uh, car uh, sellers right here, car dealerships. And then over here, this is uh, Finlay, the RV place. This is where they have all the RVs to sell so you can buy an RV. Not much to say about it. These are nice condo communities, apartment communities. And then uh, we're about to hit over there Samstown. I used to go Samstown all the time. All you can eat buffet. Love it. <laughs> Remember the good old days. And then you got an RV park over to the left over here. Nothing crazy, you know. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of uh, this uh, area. If you would uh, live here, if you there it is, RV camp right here. You can pay to camp out here in Vegas with the RV. Oh, there it is. Johnny Walker RVs over here. This is more like the more expensive RVs. He sells them all. But yeah, not much to say about this. I really uh, appreciate you guys watching until the end. We're about, we just hit Flamingo right here. And we have a lot of uh, groceries and, uh, and all the good stuff over here between Flamingo and Tropicana. You got Walmart, you got Chase, you got all the good stuff. Uh, you know, I showed you a little bit of uh, Boulder Highway then and uh, you know, uh, this is what we have in Las Vegas. This is what they, a lot of people say, yo, you gotta stay away from Boulder Highway area. I've lived here, I don't know, maybe because I'm a guy, I was a young guy, you know, 
in, the, in his 20s, um, you know, during college. I was totally fine here. Uh, never had an issue. This is Sam's Club right here. Sam's Town, sorry. And yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to call it a day. Let me know what you think. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.